Right guys, in today's video I'll be comparing the latest driver 551.23 versus the previous driver 546.65 and then the driver before that 546.33. So guys, before I get to my results, please go on over to my homepage. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and if you really feel like it, smash the like button as well. Guys, I will provide a link to uh, the GeForce Game Ready Driver Forum. Uh, yeah, they will just go over some of the complaints of the new drivers, blah, blah. Don't have time to get into this, but I will put a link in the description. But let's get to those results. So I did post this in my community tab yesterday because I left my sign equipment at, at work. But let's get to those numbers. So for the latest driver, I'm very impressed with the latest driver. I find that overall I did a, a benchmark of 10 games uh, on the latest driver, on the previous driver, and then my previous favorite driver, 546.33. This driver had the best results for me in terms of average FPS 1% lows and 0.1% lows before 551.23. At the moment, uh, especially in single player games, I definitely do recommend 551.23 because as you can see, I'm not going to go through all the numbers, but as you can see on this driver, I get the highest average FPS, I get the highest 1% lows, and I get the highest 0.1% uh, lows. Better than 546.33 and definitely better than 546.65, which in my opinion was actually quite a shocking driver. But anyways guys, that's my two cents. If you haven't updated to the latest driver, 551.23, I recommend you do it now. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your evening, have a good night, thanks for watching, smash the like button, now leave me alone, cheers.